In this video, we will find the integral of cosine of x raised to the power n. So we can write this integral as cosine of n minus 1 multiplied by cosine of x. Now we will integrate this function by using the integration by parts. So let u is equal to cosine raised to the power n minus 1 and the differential du is equal to the derivative of cosine of cosine raised to the power n minus 1 so we have n minus 1 cosine of uh, x raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1 so we have n minus 2 x multiply by the derivative of cosine of x which is minus sine x dx so we can write minus n minus 1 cosine of n cosine raised to the power n minus 2 x multiplied by sine x dx and dv we will suppose dv is equal to cosine of x dx now integrate both sides so we have v is equal to integral of cosine is sine now we will apply the formula of integration by parts which is integral of u dv is equal to u v minus integral of v du. Now first we will put the value of u u is cosine raised to the power n minus 1 and dv is cosine x dx then we will put u which is cosine raised to the power n minus 1 and v is sin x then minus v v is sin x and then du so du is minus n minus 1 cosine of n minus 2 x sin x dx Now cosine raised to the power n minus 1 plus 1 is integral of cosine raised to the power n and here we have cosine raised to the power n minus 1 then sine and then minus minus plus n minus 1 integral of cosine of n minus 2 cosine raised to the power n minus 2 and sin x multiplied by sin x is sin square x dx now cosine raised to the power n integral of cosine raised to the power n is equal to cosine raised to the power n minus 1 then sin and then plus n minus 1 integral of now we will use the identity 1 minus cos square x in place of sin square x. And then we have integral of cosine raised to the power n is equal to cosine raised to the power n minus 1 sin x then plus n minus 1 then we will open this bracket so we have cosine raised to the power n minus 2 minus cosine raised to the power n minus 2 plus 2 is cosine raised to the power n now we will apply integral on both the terms so we have cosine raised to the power n is equal to cosine raised to the power n minus 1 and sin x plus n minus 1 integral of cosine raised to the power n minus 2 then minus n minus 1 integral of cosine raised to the power n and then we take this integral on the other side of equation so we have cosine raised to the power n 
इंटीग्रल ऑफ कोसाइन रेस टू दी पावर एम एन प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटीग्रल ऑफ कोसाइन रेस टू दी पावर एन इस इक्वल टू कोसाइन रेस टू दी पावर एन माइनस वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय साइन एक्स प्लस एन माइनस वन इंटीग्रल ऑफ कोसाइन रेस टू दी पावर एन माइनस टू डीएक्स Now we can take this integral common. So we have one plus n minus one times integral of cosine raised to the power n dx is equal to cosine raised to the power n minus one x sine x plus n minus one integral of cosine raised to the power n minus two dx. So one minus one is zero. So we have n as the coefficient of this integral. And when we divide both sides by n, we have integral of cosine raised to the power n one upon n times cosine raised to the power n minus one, then sine x, and then n minus one upon n integral of cosine raised to the power n minus two. And this is the reduction formula of integral of cosine raised to the power n.